Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be looking at the new banner that is finally dropping. It is going to be dropping in about three hours, um, well, as I'm recording this. So bear in mind, I, it is 5am my time, so I apologize if I do sound tired. I'm very glad they did decide to bring back the 999Z power, except for the fact that usually I have exceptionally bad luck on these banners. So, if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, it would help out a lot. And, yeah, um, it's basic, yeah, it's just got the basic units on the banner. Um, doesn't seem to be anything outstanding, really. So basically, if you don't pull anything that you're looking for, you're not going to pull that many amazing things, except this Broly is back. That's actually very good for a lot of people. So, let's start with the Broly and Chilai, because I'm actually very excited to see them. Just check them at five stars, ah, two stars, five thousand. Wow. Um, wow. Melee type, but his blast attack is amazing, as well as his strike attack at two stars, at 194. Bro, are you good? Let's check. Oh, okay, well, it looks like he's going to be a, well, they're going to be a powerhouse, so... Let's look at his main ability, or well, their main ability. Perfect combination. Draw a special arts card next, so a green card. Restores Unki by 50, already a good main ability. Plus 40% strike damage inflicted for 20 counts, and reduces damage received by 20%. Inflict uh, 15 counts must elapse. That's actually a pretty good main ability, uh, main ability to be fair. Um, you get key, you get increased damage, and you take less damage, and you draw a green card. Let's see what the green card does, actually. Tag Team Steal. One of the following effects will occur randomly on hit. Oh, destroys enemy, destroys all of your enemy's cards, reduces enemy's Dragon Balls by one, or, or cancels enemy attribute upgrades. Holy crap. Um, Combo-able arts, strike, blast, special arts, and special move. Um, yeah, this is, this is, in my opinion, uh, this is actually quite ridiculous. Because you've got three incredibly good, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, possible outcomes of this card. And you can chain from it. You're getting, you're either destroying a Dragon Ball, you're either m taking away all the upgrades. So if you're a Versa Super Vegito and you take away all his upgrades, you're living life. And then you all, you or sorry, or you destroy all their cards. Ha, it's but ridiculous. Two strike cards. Oh wow, he actually buffs freaking yeah freezer force is a first one. Oh god and he has to buff sagas ah that's annoying <laughs> it's a very interesting team i'm very very intrigued they put them well i mean i'm not really it's kind of the only tag they both fit on together but still um let's go to just check his blue card uh deals major impact damage inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20 percent strike damage is received i mean i don't really rate Abilities, I mean blue cards like that. It's just making them take more strike or blast damage. It's not great in my opinion, but Unique ability, Sane with a heart. Plus 30% damage inflicted when this character enters the battlefield, it cannot be stacked. Okay, the following effects occur according to the number of time accounts elapsed from battle start. So once 40 counts have elapsed, you increase own Dragon Balls by one. You just randomly get a Dragon Ball. What? And then 60 counts must elapse. You get another Dragon Ball. Fam, what is this ability? Sorry. What is this ability? What, what actually is this ability, Legends? You, you hate, you know people hate Rising Rush. But you know what, if you get a, you get a Rising Rush in the first 30 counts of the game, immediately in the next 20 or 30 counts, no, 20 counts. Yeah, 30 counts. You're going to get another two Dragon Balls just for free. Obviously, if he's taken out before then, that is not going to apply. But still. Chila's support. Applies the following effects to self when this character is switched to standby. Restores own health by 10. Plus 20% damage inflicted up to 80%. So if he switches out four times. Damn. Cancels attribute downgrades. Shortens substitution count by three. Jeez, like. Fun, because that's like a purple Goku ability. Um, increased damage up to. That's like a blue Fiku support ability where every time he switches in, he gives allies 10% increased damage. So he's increasing his own damage by 20% every time he switches to standby. 
Wow. Wow, so this guy seems very, well, these two seem very, very late game. And the ability to actually ha be able to switch in a lot sooner after switching out is actually very, very good. Um, I don't, I think they're going to be very good personally. I think they've got a lot of potential and I'm very excited to see where this takes them. Um, I'm very, very intrigued. So before we get into Vegito, you've got this cancerous banner coming out, this moron, this bloody idiot. The Vegeta's okay, but these three together is just ridiculous. And then you've got, every, just every time they release something as good as this, guys, just know something hype is around the corner. The pull rate is 12%. Ignore this. The pull rate is 12%. Because this is the, this is the normal banner. The one where you've only got three summons allowed. That was 12% and you were guaranteed as barking. That was ridiculous. But anyway... Let's get on to Super Vegito. So let's check at his base. He is at, whoop, I need to get 5,000, that'll help. 188 and 199, so he is a Blast type indeed. I was expecting Blast type since the other one is already Strike. So this is very good. I'm very, very excited. Oh, I dare not check that. Ah, the stats are so good prior, bro. Let's check. Oh, okay. Okay, um, yeah, you, you don't want to come up against Jesus. Yeah, this guy's going to be amazing. I'm very, I'm very keen, don't get me wrong. Let's check. Would you like a demonstration? And this is base form, right? I want to my own base form. Yes, it is. Okay, would you like a demonstration? Transforms into Super Vegito. Destroys all your own cards and randomly destroys four new ones. Okay. Um, I genuinely was expecting to get key with that ability but I mean I guess then he would be genuinely busted so fair enough unique ability unparalleled ultimate warrior applies the following effects to self from battle start until transformation he gets 50% blast damage and reduced damage by 20% before he transforms just flat out you know that's that's nutty just straight out that's nuts a absolute composure the following effects occur after enemy attack is over activates once randomly destroys one of your arts cards and draws a or oh, and draws a special arts card next reduces enemy dragon balls by one. Oh my god bro that's ridiculous that's actually really good so you randomly just okay it could be really good but it could be really bad so, depending if you have an alt in your hand, I mean, okay, you won't have an alt in your hand. Let's say you have a blue card in your hand and it destroys that. That could be a bit of an issue, but let's see what his green card does after this. He randomly reduces, okay, you'll reduce an enemy Dragon Ball by one. Just by the way, it does, okay, no, it's all activates once. Okay, it does seem like it all activates once because it's prior to, yeah. Okay, so you'll reduce the Dragon Ball, you'll destroy one of your cards to get a green card, and that's pretty good. I mean, that's it, it could be it could have a lot of potential. They're drawing, destroying a Dragon Ball is actually quite hectic anyway. Oh, what is this? Strike damage up. Strike cards with 10% uh, to damage inflicted. Okay. Precious sign for his green card. It restores own health by 10% and key by 20. Plus 20% damage inflicted. Activates once. Reduces damage received by 10%. Activates once. Um. Okay, so he can regain health every single time. He, anytime he wants, he can restore 10% health and he by 20. That's very good. It's not broken. It's just very, very, very good. Um, plus 20% and damage inflicted, which only activates once. So if you use that. Oh, crap. Um, I just realized... There is no, uh, like, for 15 counts. That's permanent. That is just there all the time. So once you transform, that stays with you. And what? And that'll also stay with you, reduce 10% damage. So if you use this prior to him transforming, you've got all these base stats to stay. That is as far as my understanding goes. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Oi. He doesn't boost, if you get him at 6 stars, he doesn't boost your 
characters that high, which is very intriguing to me. But I guess with the free Vegito, I don't think you want him to be too OP. So let's look at his now transformed main ability. This is Super Vegito. Draw a special art card next, so a green card. Restores own key by 50, there it is. Restores own, oh Jesus. Restores own vanishing gauge by 100 and 5 counts must elapse. So you transform. Bra. So as soon as you transform, you use this. How long do you have to? It's 15 counts to transform, correct? 15 counts to transform to Super Vegito. Bra, what? Okay. Mad. Um, that's insane, really. That is really quite insane. You get 50 key, you get a green card, you get Vanish Gauge back. So that's kind of like a Piccolo main ability, I guess. The new LF Piccolo. Anyway, unique ability, Golden Ultimate Warrior. Uh, applies the following effects to self after, transfer after transformation, plus 50% damage inflicted, which can't be cancelled, and reduces damage received by 50 for 10 counts, and a... 100% to key recovery for 20 counts. Okay, um, this is, this is kind of ridiculous. So she said they're not going to be game breaking. Um, I don't think they'll break the game. This is just going to shift it straight back to Fusion Warriors. Fusion Warriors are going to come back with a passion. Passion? The, is that the word? Come back with the vengeance. That's the word. That's the one. So, he just gets straight 50% damage prior to transforming. And now after trans... Wow. Um, that's very good. So you're just straight taking less damage. So if you can kind of time this to use this, as soon as you transform, then you take attacks. You're taking 50% less damage. So the chance of you surviving a rising rush are pretty high. Anyway, Absolute Radiance. Applies the following effects to self every time this character uses a Strike or Blast card. Plus 10% to special move damage inflicted for 15 counts. We have another Blue Vegeta ability. Minus 5 to special arts, special move arts card. Cost for 15 counts, definitely Blue Vegeta. Applies the following effects to self when this character evades an enemy attack with Vanishing Step. But, oh my freaking god. Okay. Restores your key by 20. That's a Gogeta ability and a blue Goku. Uh, LF coup, if I'm not wrong. The Chiku. And then increases card draw speed by 1 for 5 counts. That's actually very good. So if you evade, you manage to gain priority. You're getting increased draw speed for 5 counts. That 5 counts can, that can help you so much. Anyway, let's look at his green card now. Erasing Strike applies the following effects to self upon activation. Restoring key by 50, plus 20% damage inflicted for 10 counts, and it's comboable to Strike Arts, Blast Card, Special Arts, and Special Move. Oh my god, that is, that is a, that's gross, bro. That is really quite gross. You're getting key, you're getting damage, and it's comboable. That is so good. Uh, Spirit R Sword Rush. Deals major, sorry, deals massive slice damage. So it's going to be inflicting bleed, I guess. Plus 40% to special move damage inflicted for three counts. Oh my god, upon activation. And then blast armor charging forward. We did see that in the preview. Uh, I was hoping it would be teachable to Shallot. That would be so sick. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, your minus in costs is what you have to know. Um, so, where is it? Here it is. Your minus in you're dealing increased damage for every strike and blast card you use for 15 counts and then you're minusing your cost by five for 15 counts he is going to be i think he's going to be i personally think he's going to be amazing but we all knew he was going to be amazing they're both going to be very good by the look of it even if their stats are anything to go by i think they're going to be amazing um this guy's kind of the Broly and chila combo are kind of just there to really screw over your opponent um in terms of minusing dragon balls and everything to that extent but they're also going to hit you hard is what it seems like so um yeah let me know what you guys are going to do down in the comments i'm personally going to be summoning um i think i'm just going to go hard for this banner and then i'm saving for an the anniversary that is that's it um 
I don't really think I can afford to spend any more crystals on any more banners after this. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this did kind of make you want to summon if you didn't want to before. Uh, I guess that'll be a bad thing if you did if you didn't want to summon, but now you do because that's the temptation. But I mean, such is such is legends. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not smack the like button? Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.